Hey everybody, I got an important video for you today. It's a how-to beginner's guide on how to unbox your Zippo, what to look for, and what you should be doing to your Zippo first out of the box. Uh, so first we're gonna start off, we got the box. It's in a white, it's in a white sleeve, 162 uh, brushed chrome armor heavy wall, right? So this is an armor brushed chrome. So you open it, you see the box. Uh, you'll notice that the box isn't always centered, right? Like, see how Zippo's over to the side more than here? Uh, and this is the official box right from uh, my buddy Zen Toaster ordered this right from Zippo. So, uh, the boxes aren't always perfect. Look for that. Okay, so armor case. Uh, when it's on the sheath like this, it doesn't say it on the box. Usually there's a sticker right here that says it on the box, like, uh, like this one says, uh, high polish rose gold. So that was the one my Scrooge McDuck Zippo was in. Okay, so now you got it, everything looks good. Uh, there's usually a sticker here uh, that says the price and it, you have to scratch it a little bit to peel it off. The one on the back here though, just lifts off the bottom. Uh, sometimes you will get ones in there though where this actually got glue on it and the whole sticker stuck. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen, be aware. So here we go, we're opening the armor for the first time. All right, done. I always keep the sticker. I uh, don't know why, but I always keep it on the inside of the box. And usually I'll put the price tag sticker in there too, but this didn't come with a price tag sticker, so that's how that goes. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna check the bottom. Okay, so the first thing you do, you flip it over from the, you can get that little bit of glue off. You flip it over, this, when the hinge is on the left side like this, this is the proper way of Zippo supposed to be facing, right? So when you flip it over, or underneath, you should have a regular stamp. See how it's reversed upside down? This means you have a reverse stamp, because it's not, it's not reading properly, you have to turn it upside down. So then we go on, and we look at the month and year. Okay, so this is a B... 21 you can see there so this is a february 2021 this is an extremely new zippo we can see that the thing has moved it's registered trademark uh, the p is pushed back toward the m now a little more it used to hang over the m and the a uh, i'm gonna have a video showing that in other videos just uh, how the bottom stamps have changed over the years and uh, how why they do that and to fight off counterfeiters and things like that so we'll get into that. Uh, you're gonna know it's a brushed finish because it's not high polish, right? Like uh, you can see the tiny little scratches and everything. So that's how you know. Now, we gotta check the insert. All right, brand new insert. But before we do that, we look at the lid. <clears throat> we look at the lid to see how loose the lid is. See, look at all that play. So when you get a brand new Zippo and you're getting play like this, remember that's how they all come. It's not like back in the day where they used to come tight and would not move. Uh, things have changed since the 90s and 80s, uh, but so don't be alarmed. That's just a regular and it will When you shake it, it It beats off the insert it rattles off the insert. So don't be alarmed But the part you are going to be alarmed about You're gonna pull out your insert a D21 so this is an April uh, 2021 insert Zippo made in USA see if they did any changes hmm. stamping doesn't line up it's not perfectly straight and never is There'll always be something different okay so we look everything looks good but does it so the main thing you're gonna want to do when you open this Zippo now now and if you're making videos guys if you're making unboxing video Zippos on YouTube Everything I just showed you, everybody who's watching the video wants to see. They want to know what kind of Zippo it is. They want to know the dates, the inserts, blah, 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 hinge play, everything they need to know about it. And then this step right here. People don't put this in their unboxing videos. You should be doing this to every Zippo you open. Uh, I don't do it because I have one insert that I change out through all my Zippos. But if you're going to be using the insert in here, you're going to want to see this. Uh, so we got some tools. And we get ready to take the felt off. Because I'm going to show you. Hold on. I got to do this on screen. Because I'm going to show you how badly packed 
how badly packed these Zippos are. Uh, now, if you do this to a brand new 90 Zippo or 80 Zippo, uh, they actually used to pack the insides very well. You would never have to do this, uh, but now you have to. So let's take the felt off. And like I said, guys, you should be doing this every time you buy a new Zippo. You should be opening the insert like this every time you buy a new Zippo. So we pull out the first layer of cotton. Look, still no wick. So that must tell me that the wick is bunched up all to crap at the top. Look, still no wick. Look, still no wick. Look at that. You can see it just on the side. This is the top of the Zippo. This is the last piece of cotton. So you mean to tell me you sold a brand new Zippo and only that is wick. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's ridiculous. You are not going to, people who are like, oh, I can't get more than two, three days out of my Zippo. This is why. Look at this mess. Look at this disgusting mess. How is that supposed to help you? How is that supposed to help fluid evaporation? How is that supposed to keep your wick saturated? This is a disgusting mess because they do it all by machine. So you're thinking, oh, okay, well, I'll just watch your other video where you take it and you put it in an S pattern and everything's all honky dory. No, don't even do that. Don't watch my old video that has 30,000 views and repack it with cotton balls. I'm going to tell you right now, packing... Packing it in with cotton balls makes pinch points. You don't want to do that. You don't want to make pinch points in your zip over fluid gets cut off. I have a new way of doing it. I'm going to show you here. You don't have to use my cotton bacon trick. You don't have to use any special cotton. You could use the cotton balls that were provided with you, right? So you take your cotton balls, you start making them in two strips. All right. It's just cotton. It will mend. Uh, it will unroll and flatten and it'll do whatever you want. You can re-roll these into balls. It's just strands of cotton, guys. Uh, I know a lot of people get scared. Oh, am I doing this right? Well, look, am I? <laughs> it's just cotton. It's not a big deal. So we make some strips with these, okay? Uh, now, here's a nice strip right here. Because uh, they, they cut these things off, man. Like These, these were started off as perfect cotton balls. And then they got squished and bunched around and they end up just turning into shit. So here's a good, here's a good one right there. There's a good strip. Oh, you can't see it. Okay. So there's a good strip right there. The one was already in strips. Uh, this one kind of looks bad. I'm going to be honest. The one, oh, you can't see it. Oh, okay. So that one kind of looks bad, but have no fear. It will look better. Okay. All right, so you took your cotton, you decided which ones were the best ones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna substitute this piece for this piece. I think this would make a better strip. I just gotta widen this one out a little bit more. Okay, so now you got your two strips. You got a strip for, for the one side, you got a strip for the other side. Let's move this so I can have some. All right, so now you wanna take your you want to take your wick, right? And you want to realize that this is there. You don't have to pull out the cotton that's stuck in between here. It'll never do anything anyways. So now we start our S shape, okay? We want our Zippo to go all the way to the bottom. To where The felt will go to that dimple, right? It'll go to that dimple. So we want our wick to go all the way to here. Look how much saturated that's going to be, how much better that's going to be. So now I'm going to do this off camera, but I got to slide the wick into the hole and pull it through because that's what you do. Hold on, I just gotta twist the end. I try to do it with uh, I try to do it with uh, tweezers there. I always have a set of tweezers handy. Okay, so Oh, I think I got the top poke through a little bit. And I did. Okay, so my wick's in. All right. And now we set it to height we want because we don't want to be trimming. All right, so now take your one strip. Uh, take your World War II mess knife. If you don't have one, any knife will do. Butter knife, whatever. Okay. Now push this flat against one side, right? You push that flat against one side, you make your wick, you make sure your wick's in perfect position. It's got the right amount 
hold on, I gotta get some tweezers in there. It's got the right amount of bend. It's got the right amount of bend and it's gonna it's gonna go down the whole ziffle. I'm just doing some uh, I'm just doing some adjustments off screen here. Because sometimes when you go to put it in, you'll pull it too far and you'll straighten out your S curve uh, like I did. So I'm just refixing the S curve. Okay, now it's perfect. I did that with tweezers. I just went in there and I just I didn't have to pull the wick out. Okay, so now you put this you put the steel butter knife on this side because it'll help with the sliding in of your first strip. We put in our first strip. You take your tweezers, take the flat end there, and now we're stuffing it in. Okay. Now, that side of that wick is going to be saturated for life. <laughs> okay, and now, all we got to do is take this and put it down the side with the wick. We've got to press the wick against the other side. See, we're going to make, a, we're going to make an open space again. Uh, I'm just going to stuff some of this back down there. Came out when I pulled the knife out a little bit. Not a big deal. Okay, so now, the you can see down there, oh, I hit my phone. You can see down there, the wick is now on the other side pressing against this cotton, which leaves us room for this strip of rayon cotton. Like I said, you don't have to use cotton bacon, you don't have to use anything. You could use the cotton that comes with the Zippo. Rayon cotton still works just fine. So now this is gonna be stripped and bunched up on either side of that wick Look, that knife is in there tight, done. All right, now there is an extra piece of cotton in here. Uh, you could do whatever you want with it. I'm not putting it back in because I don't like overpacking my insert. Put the flint back in. Screw it back in. And we're doing good. We are doing good. Bam. And that's how you repack. That's how you repack it brand new from the factory. Sometimes Zippo only gives you the right amount of cotton. Uh, this was definitely an extra piece because when I, I do this with other Zippos, there isn't an extra piece. This is the first time this ever happened to me. Uh, but, you know, they get packed so tight and tiny. And when they are packed tight and tiny, they make pinch points and fluid can't, fluid can't move through it. This is a much better method of packing. This is what you should be doing with all your new Zippos. And everyone, that's how you do an unboxing video. And that's what you should do when you unbox Zippos. Everything I did here goes back in the box, put away for the next generation of collectors. Or you fill it up, it goes right in your pocket, you use it forever. You do, you do whatever you want with it. So everyone, take care. I'll see you in the next one.